Hi guys, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I want to talk to you guys about the concept of what if everybody was blind? And it sounds super weird, but I'm going to talk to you about that concept. I'm going to talk to you about beauty, about culture defining beauty, all things in redefining what beautiful is and helping us discover what we view as beautiful. So I was reading this book and in the book the guy gave me some food for thought and he said what if everybody was blind would you still get ready the same way that you're getting ready would you put as much effort into getting ready as you do and it really made me think you know what if everybody was blind would I still get ready in the same way would I still do my hair my makeup dress the same way and I'm not hating on getting ready I'm not hating on you know looking to your role models and people that you look up to for fashion and makeup and obviously I do makeup videos on my channel but I do think that it's really valuable and it really made me think about why am I getting ready this way is it because I think it's beautiful or is it because this is what the people around me and culture is telling me is beautiful and so culture often has a really really big hand in defining beauty I think it has a bigger hand than sometimes we realize in the definition of beauty and I feel like it's so inconsistent and so unreliable to base beautiful on what culture says it is and an example of that is so take like in California tan skin is super super coveted and then you go to a different country and they're literally bleaching their skin to be lighter and so where you're defined as beautiful when you're tan in California you go over to this other place and you're not beautiful to them because you have tan skin and so it's like then what is beauty <laughs> you know because it's like different anywhere you go if you're going to the standards of culture and so if culture doesn't define beauty then what does what is beauty and I feel like personally that beauty is what the Bible tells you it is beauty is what God says it is and so Psalm 139 is obviously a very good scripture to base beauty off of and it talks about if you don't know that God knit you together in your mother's room that you are fearfully and wonderfully made there is no flaw in you when God made you he made you perfectly he made you beautiful he made you just the way he wanted you to be and that alone in itself can totally revolutionize your idea and your definition of beauty and so through that though I think something that naturally comes out of that is okay so if I'm made perfectly and beautiful then what makes you unique is really what makes you beautiful and I know that's so cliche but it's cliche for a reason and so if you know what is setting you apart is making you beautiful then when you accept and you receive the truth that God made you exactly how you wanted to be then you can actually love who you are and love that thing that makes you unique whatever it is and you know just be confident in who you are and I think that is so beautiful I think that when you love who you are when you accept it and you just walk in what you think is beautiful your you know the way you view things everyone's so wired so differently it just makes you so beautiful to walk in fully who you are so you know a good way to kinda that I found to discover you know if you're basing beauty off of culture or if you're basing beauty off of what you think is beautiful personally is to imagine what that guy said in the book is what if everybody was be what if everybody was blind everybody is beautiful <laughs> what if everybody was blind would you still get ready the same way that you're getting ready and I think that it can be really hard sometimes to know if you know what you think is beautiful is how you think beauty looks or if what you think is beautiful is being defined by culture and that's a really quick and good easy way to separate the two and realize this is culture's definition of beauty this is my definition of beauty and what God says is beautiful and so now how do I balance out those two you know draw from the current fashion draw from the current things find what you like but then not get ready only so that you can measure up to those things so I'm super passionate about beauty obviously and my heart is really to redefine beauty and I think that culture like I said has defined beauty for a really long time and I believe that beauty can be redefined beautiful can be redefined it can be 
you know, attainable and real and not just what you see, these unrealistic, unhealthy, a lot of times, versions of beauty, but it can be really, you know, you without any makeup and smiling with a sparkle in your eye. Like, that's beautiful, you know? And I think it's very underrated a lot of times of what beauty is. It's only this one certain thing, and culture and media is having the running lead in what that looks like. And so here on this channel for you guys, I want to redefine beauty. I want to have us all walk away feeling beautiful, feeling worth loving, feeling, you know, not comparing yourselves like my other video I talked about. So I hope that this helped you. I am really excited to keep making videos as God gives me things to share with you. I'm just going to record, sit down like this, share with you guys revelation that I'm getting, things that I'm learning because I am still, let me tell you, growing in this area. I struggle with comparison. I struggle with not feeling beautiful so often. So we're in this together. We're learning through this together as one. And so thank you guys so much for joining with me. Um, Leave a comment in the comment below. I always love to hear what you guys have to say, what you got from this. And remember to like and subscribe if you guys want. Thank you guys so much for watching.